Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I just want to say before we start off, thank you so much for all of the views, the likes, the comments and all the support on the last video. Honestly, it was insane. We've so far gained over 200 subscribers just from that video alone, which honestly is mental. That is absolutely crazy and mind-blowing to me. So yeah, honestly, shout out to you guys. You are the best. So the plan for this week's worth of progression, I am obviously going to be doing my farming. We are making some pretty good gains with farming, so we'll probably end up kicking off this video with a level. We know what we're like, um, and I am due to do a farm run shortly, so yeah, we'll probably get 106 very soon, which is, yeah, like I said, pretty sweet. Apart from that, though, it's just going to be going for some random levels here and there, like always. So yeah, kick back, grab your snacks and your drinks. Today, we are just on some water, no tea today, but yeah, let's go. We're not even surprised that the first level in every video is a farming level. We love a farm run, didn't mean to click that, but there we go for 106 farming. They're basically all 100%, it was just one that wasn't, so yeah, pretty nice. A pretty smooth sailing trip, if you ask me. Really happy with that, I'm going to try and aim for another level in this video over the next week, so hopefully we can get that. We're getting some really good XP at the moment. A bunch of these guys are ready to sell as well, and prepare for the next lot, which is nice. Having a look in the chat box here as well, the resources are coming through nicely, so I'm hoping it won't take much longer than a couple of weeks to be able to expand the farm again to get our large pen in. We have just got the achievement for 100,000 beans collected so far, bean counter 3, which is uh, pretty cool. If we have a look at our tab so far for farming, it is not looking too shabby. It always looks good when the stock starts to pile up and we see some higher numbers. Uh, there are still some bits that I could probably remove, um, like the placeholder of and stuff like that, but I like it how it is. It feels organized enough for me and I just kind of know where to go whenever I need stuff. So yeah, you can really see it adding up, especially the chin jumpers. To continue with the chill vibes, we're going to go ahead and light another candle. We're all about making a nice, calm, relaxing atmosphere for these videos. I feel like it's time for an autumnal outfit change. There we go, that's a lot more autumnal, ready for the season. Not too sure how keen I am on these boots, so I might just end up reverting those back, but for now, I'm happy with it. I remember saying in the last video that I was going to be upgrading the palm tree to the next level, which I believe is the Siku seed from having a look here. I think that's how you say it. Um, but looking earlier on, they are really expensive. If I just show you guys real quick, they were honestly so expensive. 471k per seed compared to the palm tree seed which is 2.9k. It was kind of a no-brainer. I'm just going to stick with a little bit less XP and save myself a hell of a lot of money there. I got that for an absolute bargain, 150k for 100 seeds. So yeah, if you're wondering why we haven't upgraded, that is the reason. Some of these areas in game are so beautiful. It is time for another farm run and this has been completely smooth sailing. We've got 10 out of 10 for every single plot, which is nice. And this is honestly all I've been doing all week because I've been so busy. So yeah, I apologize. <laughs> we officially have enough resources now to create our sleeping quarters, which then means we can work on further resources and we get more workers as well to do so. And then we can upgrade to our tier two town hall. And yeah, keep working on our expansion, which is cool. This is something I have not seen in game, the Dungeoneering Dummy. How long has this been out for? I've not seen anybody use this in the whole time that I've been back in Fort 4 and 3 on World 84. This is the first time that I've seen one of these, so that's pretty sweet. Maybe it's just that no one has one. I just, yeah, never seen one before. Anyway, as you would have guessed, we are doing some fire making right now. We have only 110k away from 102, so let's get it. 
in a couple of seconds. There we go, 102 fire making. We are slowly getting there with this skill. I've been kind of mixing it up between just fully burning the logs and creating the magic incense sticks because you get quite a lot of money back for the incense. It's pretty good profit to be honest. Um, I've got over a thousand of them in the bank so far that I've made. Um, so yeah, just been kind of doing that here and there. So the progression feels a bit smaller, but hey, we're getting there and we're making some money while doing so, so we will not complain. This cape is so pretty. Oh, it is so nice. Today, we are fishing. I have not done fishing in years. Um, we're currently doing the flinging method, which is pretty decent XP. I know that if you use crystallize and light form, you can get some really sick XP rates. Um, but to be honest, we're just kind of chilling. We're just doing it like this for now. Um, you can see the XP coming through is pretty good. We had around 560 odd K from the next level, which is 103. Um, so yeah, shouldn't take too long to do this. I also haven't been to this area in so long and yeah, I just love the open sea. The graphics in this area, absolutely beautiful, 10 out of 10. I changed my mind and I wanted to do a bit more of an AFK method that's also going to make me some money. So we're doing the blue jellyfish at the moment. Sometimes we have to do the greens, but it is mainly the blues. They're 13k each. So if we have a look, 13, 59. 26 in the invent because of my um, urns. Yeah, pretty decent. Nearly 340k per invent and it doesn't take that long to do. It's not amazing money, but in between the levels. We have 433k left to go until we'll get 103. So yeah, definitely should be seeing a nice amount of GP from that as well. I just wanted to point out as well that there is an FC that you guys can join if you want to. You obviously don't have to if you've already got one uh, that you normally hang out in. But if you did ever want to pop in, say hi or whatnot, then yeah, join on me and it'll be nice to see you guys there. I forgot all about the whale. This is so beautiful. So chill here. This is just a little clip of us last night getting 103 fishing on stream. This was my first stream in years. And yeah, thank you to everyone that did tune in. I really appreciate it. Obviously, I can't have the audio in it because of the music and whatnot. But yeah, 103 fishing. And I'll also go through the money that we've made at some point. I remember doing that. Um, so let me just cut to that real quick as well. Yeah, 12.1 mil in total is what we made from around 450k XP. So not bad at all. If you guys are interested in catching the next stream, because I am going to make it a more regular thing, at least once or twice a week, then just hop down in the description. My Twitch account is down there if you want to go give me a follow. Obviously, you don't have to, but it would be really nice to see as many of you guys there chatting and uh, just hanging out as possible. So yeah, if you'd like to, it is down there. We should be getting another level in farming in just a moment. We are 114k away. So let's go ahead and gather as much as we can. I'm really hoping that we are able to get this. There we go. With our last one there, we have 107 farming. Really, really cool. Being 107 means we're only one level away from being able to boost to a really cool method of farming, which gets us insane XP per hour. If we have a look on the market here, it's the Supreme Growth Potions. If we plant a tree, obviously, then it means we can use this pot on those and it will instantly grow, meaning we can just plant, harvest, plant, harvest constantly. Not really too sure if it's worth it at 108. Um, we'll definitely just wait and see. We can just keep doing this to 111 where we can then consume pork pies, which give you a plus five boost. And obviously that lasts a bit longer as well. It means we just have to run to the bank to do so, or we can keep some in the inventory and uh, note all of the harvest goods. So yeah, we'll just wait and see. We'll probably wait to 111, just keep going as we are because we're getting some really good farming XP at the moment with the farm runs that we're currently doing so yeah probably just keep how it is but it's cool to know that we're close to unlocking it okay so if we have a look yesterday on stream which was really cool thank you to everyone who um did tune in for a bit i really appreciate it and um, we upgraded to the tier one of the sleeping quarters which obviously means we now have an additional five workers so i'm going to put some more people on the logs here because i want as many as possible because as you can see for tier two of the town hall we need twenty thousand, and we don't quite have that yet once we have tier two we can get tier two of the storehouse which means we can build large pens which is yeah what we want so it won't take too long at 540 an hour 
Right, I want to sell the jellyfish that I got yesterday whilst I was fishing. So we can just get a bit of extra cash. If I leave them in for this price, they've dropped a little bit from when I price checked them. So we're just going to leave them in, hope that they sell for this price. I'm not... I mean, they sold pretty quick and for way over the price, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, these are the ones that I really want to sell. Should have sold them yesterday when they were a bit higher, but I guess let's just wait and see. Who doesn't love a party hat? This is going to be our next kind of goal in terms of what I want to buy. I don't really buy that many um, high value fashionscape items ever, but the golden party hat is what I want to go for. I keep seeing it around. I think it looks sick. So yeah, for the fashionscape, we're going to do it. Not right now, obviously. Don't have enough money. Um, or I do, but I'd be completely broke. So we're going to work on it. It only took a couple of minutes. They've sold, which is amazing. Did we get the... We probably... Yeah, we got the exact amount for the average price. So not going to complain about that. Basically at 150 mil again, which is nice. It is Trehan hour. So we are just doing a, a bit of smithing. And I've decided once we do this, uh, whilst we do this, sorry, I'm actually going to go through the new quest that comes out tomorrow with you guys because it's been a while since I've been on a new quest as soon as it's come out and I'm really excited about it. So for those of you that don't know, it comes out tomorrow on October 9th and is based around Fort 4 and 3. It's called Ancient Awakening. I'll have it in the background now so you guys can just see the bits that I'm looking at as well. Um, but the main points of this are to uncover the secrets of Ungale, I believe that's how you say it, an isle that has been left hidden for centuries. Work with Fort's inhabitants Asta, Bill and Raptor to face the challenges and make use of the new botanist bench to prepare for the upcoming new boss encounter in November. So that sounds really cool. Looking at the graphics on this area, they look so clean, looks really nice. If we have a look at the rewards, um, you can see here that there are three tiers to the botanist workbench and these are unlocked after the quest is complete. So there's three tiers, one is for 54 construction, two is for 78 construction and three is for 92. The other rewards that you get from this are one quest point, a necromancy XP lamp, a prismatic XP lamp, two treasure hunter keys and the ability to of course build all three tiers of the botanist bench that I just went through. You can also return back to the aisle after the quest as well for a bit more combat. We get some overrides and some new titles as well. So the bit that I need to now start working on is getting ready for this quest, which is probably what I'm going to spend the rest of today doing. We need to have completed the prior quest in the series, which is Dead and Buried. No um, surprise if I have multiple quests to do prior to this one as well. Um, so that's, like I said, what I'm going to be working on. So if you haven't done that, then yeah, you will need to do that. You also need to have 50 necromancy as well, because that is going to be tied into this quest, it seems. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Like I said, it looks really cool, um, of what we can see so far. So it's going to be really neat to be able to jump onto a, um, a new released quest as soon as it comes out. Quite excited. So if we go in and have a look at the dead and buried quest, as um, expected, there are further quests that I need to um, complete. So if we have a look at unwelcome guests, I need murder on the border. For murder on the border, I need town hall, command center and chapel, all tier one. And that should be nice and easy to do those three. So really, it's not actually that much that I have to work on for this. So I can easily get that done before the quest comes out. Um, what I'll do is I'll wrap up this video, edit it, and then I'll just get cracking on those, I think. It is a win for RuneScape 3 players. Jagex have announced they are not going to be renewing the Hero Pass. So when this one runs out, which I believe is 57 days from today, uh, which is Sunday, um, that will be the end of it. They aren't planning on releasing another one. It's not going to be renewed. As we know, it was never favourable to begin with, but it's nice to see that they're taking a step in the right direction for sure. So uh, yeah, a great step towards RS3. Hopefully some of the players can kind of see this and come back to the game if they have left for this reason. Um, that would be pretty sweet. It was mentioned in the last video that I can get a bag from this museum for all of my strange rocks. I know you can also get one in Prif for the golden rocks as well. Um, it was, yeah, it was definitely Marius. It's literally right there. This whole time, I've never had one. 
Um, but yeah, there we go. So of course, every time this is full, we'll come back here, create the entire statue and rinse and repeat. So thank you for that tip. Something I wanted to mention, if you can hear any construction in the background, I do apologize, but something, yeah, that I wanted to mention was that last week, we managed to get lucky enough to become a YouTube partner and I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you guys that watch the videos, subscribe, all that good stuff. We have a really good ratio of how many of you that watch the videos are already subscribed. So yeah, the support has honestly been second to none. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much. We are so close to the second tier as well. Absolutely mind boggling. Thank you so much. Okay, we just got enough of the logs here so that we can upgrade our town hall to tier two. So let's go ahead and do that now. Go through all of this, perfect. So now we need 70,000 if we want tier three, but we only need um, 22,000 of the vines, the hides and the stones for the tier two storehouse, which means we are one step closer to upgrading our farm. So yeah, on that note guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope that you have enjoyed. I tried to get a little variety of the things that I've been doing, tried to get some levels here and there. We made some decent money as well, um, which was nice, getting a cash stack basically back up to 150 mil is always good. And yeah, it's been a really chill time. I've been doing some Slayer, I just haven't managed to get a level from it. I can have a quick look. We have... 2.7 mil left to go and we also have 600,000 uh, bonus xp as well so if you count that in you know it's 2.1 mil um to go until we have the next level so that'll definitely be in the next video with the uh new quest as well of course so yeah some progression to come i'm really excited about it i just wanted to add since the last video we have gained over 300 subscribers which is absolutely insane so thank you so much i really do appreciate it if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and stick around because we've got a lot of content to come a lot of gains and yeah, like I said, I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for the continuous support. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.